this is the Matronix Active 30 pool robot. I uh, just picked it up. This is pretty much everything that was in the box, along with some instructions and another set of filters, which is this fine, fine filters. So this is the robot. It has a cord that has a swivel mechanism for this year. Um, I'm told that the cord still tangles, so I guess we'll see once I put it in the water. I'll show you. Um, the caddy is the only thing that needed to be assembled. Uh, and it holds the power pack as well as the robot. Um, this is a power pack, 110 volt, 29 DC output. And this is a, the robot plugs in here. And it snaps on if you do want to use the caddy. It snaps onto the caddy. And the caddy protects the, the brushes. Um, so it's probably good to use. And this is the robot itself. It's got a port for your debris, soft rubber, kind of rubbery brushes and tracks. It only has one port. Uh, it opens up to remove the filter. It's a little bit stiff for me. I don't like it. So you open it, you remove the filter basket. And the debris just goes in from here. This is the bottom of the robot. And it's quite large can hold a large amount of leaves, it looks like. And this is just a mesh filter, so there's no, um, it's more designed for larger debris, I guess. Uh, better for the beginning of the season. Whereas the, the other set of filters that they've included um, are more fine. And probably better for later in the season when there's not so much large debris and just for kind of upkeep, uh, removing smaller particles like algae. Uh, and these are the instructions. Uh, actually, surprisingly, not a lot of instructions, only two pages, really. One is for operating the remote, connecting it to Bluetooth. So this has some Bluetooth features, Bluetooth navigation. And uh, this is the robot operations, just really one page. Uh, how to clean the filter, how to clean the robot, replace filters, just maintenance and basic operation. And the only assembly instructions are for the caddy. And the rest is just the warranty card and the very important safety instructions. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll go put it in the pool. It's got some some nasty stuff on the bottom. We'll see. It's not a big pool, obviously. So I don't know how long it'll take, but hopefully I'll, I'll check in after a couple hours on this thing. We'll see how well it does. He's off. I'm gonna pick up that chunk of dirt. Good job. Nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. No, it's like the other one, Polaris, would just shoot up all this crap into the water and the filter has to pick it up. This thing is surgical. Real careful. Okay. So it's like two hours for this thing to run. It's cleaning the water line. So it made it all the way up from the bottom, up the slanted wall, and now it's cleaning. The water line should at some point realize that there's nowhere else to go. It's kind of moving along. It's taking it a while to realize that. It's really cleaning that one spot pretty well. Oh, there it goes. Back into the deep waters. Okay, so it ran for a couple hours and cleaned up most of it. 
It was pretty bad. That was one cycle. There was a bunch of stuff left on this side, but I took control using the Bluetooth remote and got most of the stuff on the shallow end. For some reason, it didn't like to go into the shallow end, um, but it did a pretty good job. It cleaned all the drains as well. Uh, so let me take it out and see um, see what's inside. But whole lot of stuff but yeah it could probably go more I don't know how effective it, it uh, is after it's got this much stuff in it so I'm gonna empty it out put it back in and see to empty this I think you just press this clip here or pull this clip and it opens and lots of little acorns and stuff in there Need a garden hose now. 